questions for Coach? Coach, your thoughts on the, the injuries? Well, you know, injuries are part of the game, and it's, it's just one of those things that, that you have to deal with. You obviously uh, you feel really bad uh, uh, for the guys individually uh, when they have to go through it, but all you can hope for uh, is that, uh, you know, the team steps up, uh, the guys around them uh, step up, that, that we do everything we can as coaches and, and as their teammates to keep their spirits up and try to find a way uh, to keep them involved. Uh, hopefully these guys, uh, a guy like a, a Spencer Strider, can help some of the younger pitchers, especially the first-year pitchers, uh, you know, who are g getting ready to go through their first season um, here. Um, you know, hopefully he can give them some wisdom and, and help them uh, make that transition. But, you know, ultimately you just feel really bad for the guys. Um, but there's no, re there's no point in, uh, you know, continuing to feel bad about it. it. It is what it is. We have to deal with it, but we also have to move forward. Uh, we've got a great team, a great group of guys, and we're going to move forward and try to be as positive uh, as we can. You gave us an update before practice started on what the weekend could look like. Now, mm -hmm. with Spencer, is this something that could go into the season as you try to feel out who can step in where? Yeah, I think so. I mean, again, you know, we've got this full weekend of inner squads. We've got next weekend of inner squads. So, you know, we're going to take take this opportunity, the next six inner squads. Uh, to evaluate, you know, really to evaluate kind of who we feel like uh, is going to earn those three weekend spots. Uh, it certainly changes things. We certainly felt like Spencer was going to be one of those guys. Uh, but that being said, uh, you know, there's some guys that are certainly capable of being weekend starters and, 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 and doing a great job for us. It's just a matter of, of those guys earning those spots. Um, and then us as a coaching staff deciding after next weekend uh, you know, kind of who we're going to put in that, that one, two, and three order. Uh, but that being said, uh, we also have uh, five games in the first week. So we're playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we have uh, our Tuesday and Wednesday the following week. We have midweek games right out of the gate. So we did that on purpose because we wanted to see every one of our arms and what they were able to do and throw them in the fire early in the season. So uh, it definitely makes things, you know, a little bit tougher on us from a depth standpoint. But – uh, it's also a great opportunity for some of these younger guys to have to step up and assume bigger roles and, and compete at the highest level. Who are some of those guys? Um, you know, for me right now, uh, Brooks Crawford and Jacob Hennessy, those guys return the most innings. So they're certainly going to be in that conversation of being two of the three guys. Uh, you got to think Davis Sharp's going to be in that mix. Uh, other guys that are potential candidates for those jobs, uh, Justin Robleski. True freshman, it's very, very talented. It's going to be in that mix. Uh, Jackson Lindley uh, is going to be in that mix, um, and we could certainly look at other guys in the program who have some experience. A uh, uh, Matt Clark, uh, who pitched very, very, uh, very, very well for us last year. Uh, Travis Moore could be in that mix. Uh, so uh, you know, we feel like uh, Keyshawn Askew is another guy has thrown really, really well here lately. Who's a true freshman as well. So. We have options. It's just a matter of those guys separating themselves, especially the guys that don't have stripes on their sleeves, uh, as we like to say. Uh, those guys are going to have to separate themselves and earn it. Coach, I was able to watch a little bit of your scrimmage uh, last week. Saw Kier steal second and third. Uh, do, do you like where you guys are right now? Has, has anybody kind of jumped out at you in this last week? I like a lot of our guys. I mean, position player-wise, uh, a number of guys are, are doing a really good job um, in, uh, you know, competing at the plate, quality at bats, putting pressure on the defense on the base paths. Um, yeah, there's a number of guys who have done a great job. I mean, Wilkie and Hack have both looked very good behind the plate. Uh, Briar Hawkins, another true freshman, swung the bat very well. David Sharp has had a good week of practice at the plate. Uh, you know, another guy that's going to make an impact, I think, both ways. Uh, Sam Hall's looked unbelievable. I mean, he's probably the most dynamic athlete on the field. He can play anywhere we put him. Uh, Logan's Logan. James Parker's going to be a very good player. Birdie, Kier, T.O., Michael Green, uh, Matt Cooper. Um, uh, Bo Majkowski has had a great week of practice and, uh, you know, is certainly trying to move up that ladder. Uh, Chad Ferry, another true freshman, is left-handed bat with some pop. So, I mean, we, we feel pretty good, you know, position player-wise, and I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Uh, but, yeah, Kier's look good, but so have uh, a number of other guys as well.
What do you look for from your team the first week of practice? And now that you've been through it, have you seen what you need to see? The only thing I'm really looking for is that we get a little bit better uh, every day. And just the things that we measure, the things that we value, uh, just the quality of the at-bats, uh, the quality of the innings on the mound, um, who can play where defensively, how efficient are we. Um, situational hitting is going to be a big deal, I think, for this team. Uh, so we got to be able to hit and run. We got to be able to move runners. We got to be able to bunt. We got to be able to bunt for hits. We get a runner at third and less than two outs. We got to ground out at bats and we got to get that run in. Uh, we got to have guys that compete with two strikes. I think for me, it's just being uh, a little bit more um, in terms of attention to detail uh, to our offense and trying to create runs in other ways. And we want to be, again, we want to be a team that can score without power. I still think we're going to hit for some power. But I think we need to be a team that can score without power. And that's been our big message uh, for our guys because power, and you know, what power does is it, it covers up all your mistakes, right? You make a couple mistakes and a couple runs score and then you hit a three run jack and then you're right back in it. Um, so, um, and we're going we're gonna to drive the baseball, but we want to be an offense that can score runs on tough days. And that's been my big focus, I think, on the offensive end. On the pitching side, we got strike throwers. You know, we got guys that are going to throw strikes and, and are going to compete. Uh, it's just a matter now of again, you know, who's going to assume those weekend roles? You know, who's going to be those guys? You know, we know that that Brooks and, and Jacob um, are very experienced, uh, but those guys are trying to push to make sure that they they earn a weekend job. Um, and some of these young guys are going to have to step up. You know, the Robos and the Lindleys and Askews and you know, all those guys are going to have to step up, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, with what we lost, it's 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 a big blow. Uh, but uh, we have guys that are very, very capable. This might be a better question for Coach C, but uh, how much can Spencer still grow as a pitcher from the cerebral aspect of the game, uh, just learning to grow as a pitcher? And is it ever difficult to keep guys engaged once they suffer a season-ending injury like that? I don't think it's – I don't think it is. I just think – I think it takes some mental toughness. I think, you know, anytime you're dealing with an injury, whether it's a pitcher or a position player, it just puts you in another category because you're not involved in the day-in, day-out routine of all the other players who are healthy and able to practice and perform. That's the toughest thing. It's, you know, once you're injured, you're going through a totally different protocol. So it, now you're on the rehab uh, part. So it, it's it's you got to be mentally tough because a lot of what you're doing is on your own. It's in the training room. It's one on one. Uh, it's baby steps. You have setbacks. It takes some mental toughness to deal with that. But Spencer's a really mentally tough kid. He's a very mature young man. So uh, I think he's going to grow from it. Um, I certainly think he will grow from it, and he will be better um, having gone through this. Look, he's not the only one that's ever had to go through this. You know, pitchers have to deal with this. Uh, it's just part of our game, whether we like it or we don't. And knock on wood for us here, uh, we've been pretty fortunate. We haven't had a lot of injuries on the mound. Uh, so uh, it's just, again, we've got to help uh, Spencer deal with it. we got to be there for him. His teammates are certainly going to be there for him. But I think he's mentally tough enough to be able to handle this and move forward, and he's going to be fine. Spencer, do you